So last year I decided to build a summer house, so to accommodate a brand new studio and fingers crossed that will also include a campout area for my kids to come over and visit. And rather than buying a brand new TV to fit in within that log cabin, well we were luckily gifted this 15.5 inch portable DVD player from a company called Yoton. Now I know what you're thinking, oh, this is a bit of a old gadget in it, a DVD player. But because it is quite easy to operate, well I personally think that this particular DVD player today still holds some relevance. But yes, everything comes quite protected. This model is the YD-155. As we take it out, yes it could be mistaken as a dated laptop. To the top of the unit, it has a slight green to it and that screen opens up just like so. I must admit, the screen it does have a good size to it, it does swivel 180 degrees clockwise and 270 degrees counterclockwise, with that hinge situated central. To the top of the base unit, we have a simple press to release, flip open DVD player, let's insert a disc, and before we go into the functions, let's head to the right hand side, where we have a USB 2.0 port, so you can either go ahead and plug in the USB memory stick, or you can revert over to that large SD card slot. There's also a headphone port too, so to attach wired headphones or earphones, and there's also an AV out, an AV in, the power on off switch, as well as a DC charge slash power port, and another USB slot. Underneath, there's four grippy pivoted feet, there's plenty of ventilation, and there are two screw holes, where you can attach this particular DVD player within a vehicle to your car roof, underneath a kitchen cupboard, or in fact, attach it to a bunk bed. Now I just don't have anyone in that top bunk, wet in the bed, wet sheets on standby. Now because we've already tested this product out, we've not managed to flip that screen upside down, we've gone through all the menus, all the settings, and we've not managed to suss it out even to this day. If anyone watching has one of these particular DVD players, have you managed to suss out how to rotate that screen in order to place the monitor upside down? If you have, get commenting. Let's go ahead and power it on. We are greeted with Yoton Portable Video Player, but when we look at that LCD display, nope, it's not LED. It has a 1280 by 800 display. As you can see, there's no wires attached to the DVD player just yet, and that's because it has a built-in 5000 million power battery. We are provided within the package with a DC power brick. There's also a car cigarette power cord too, as well as an audio visual cable and a blocky remote control that takes two AAA batteries. Nope, they're not included. And as you can see, because we've not interacted for a good few minutes with the Yolt on screen, an on-screen animation has indeed kicked in. Wow, that takes you back. Function-wise, to the right, we have an initial setup button. By the way, these buttons are not illuminated. We can adjust the screen display, adjust the screen saver too. Ah, let's actually turn that off. We've also got that last memory setting. We're going to definitely keep this setting on because the units will indeed remember where we last left off when watching a movie. What other settings have we got? Well, we've got audio settings, brightness and contrast settings, and I will note that this Yoten DVD player is also regional friendly, so regional DVDs should indeed work. Now, in regards to the other functions, we have directional controls, mode selection button, a media stop button, and a USB slash memory card selection button. Where, yes, USB memory sticks are compatible, although when they did come to MP4 files, whether the USB memory stick is too large, I haven't got a clue, but the video files didn't seem to play, only the audio, I'm afraid. So we did end up having to take the USB memory stick, place it into our laptop, convert each video file to AVI, and when we placed it back into the DVD player, well, those videos still didn't work, I'm afraid, no. Now, if anyone's got any suggestions, if you actually own one of these DVD players, or if you've got any resolution, well, please leave a comment in the comment section down below. And as we shift to the left-hand side to those other function controls, we have options to turn the screen off, so to save some power when playing music files. But obviously, you're going to have to turn that screen back on in order to select a different song, etc. Now, as you can see just here, we have a subtitle button. We have the volume up and down functions, as well as fast forward, skipping to the next chapter or to the next music track. 
Now over the Christmas time period I did have my kids over and we did in fact use this yacht on DVD player a good few times. I've got to admit the viewing angles yeah, are actually pretty good when swiveling the screen left and right. When it comes to the shadowing, there's a minimal shadowing in the corners of the screen. But one thing I will say is that this yacht on DVD player is best situated when it's placed on a flat surface. As when it's placed upon your lap when watching a film, well, when that screen is positioned in a good viewing position, well, the weight of the unit is noticeable that it is distributed to the veer. So when the screen is at that viewing angle, it basically does tip back now and again. Other than that, I would say that you can enjoy a full film and a half before the battery dies. Then you will have to revert back to that DC charger that is included, plug it in, and then continue your film. The charge time, it will take between 4 to 5 hours to fully charge this Yolt on DVD player from flat. And yeah, it does seem kind of a long time, but in comparison to other DVD units just like this one, that is in fact the average charge time that you would expect. Now yes, this is a mobile unit, so you'll be able to walk around and play your DVDs or CDs on the go. I'm actually surprised that you can shake this thing rapidly, it won't make the DVD skip, and it is quite sturdy and steady. And when it comes to the picture quality, uh, just listen guys, it's not going to be the best, understandably, on a 1280 by 800 panel that is, but I will give it a thumbs up because the picture quality is not too bad pretty nice color tones and brightness and when it comes to the audio with those dual speakers below the screen again you're not going to expect massive bass or anything like that but the audio is quite surprisingly clear if you do go ahead and blast out that audio at full volume though that abs shell will have a bit of vibration So my advice is set that volume setting to 80% and you should have no problems. Ultimately, listen, listen, we all know again that DVDs are now dated. We've now got new mobile tech that's easily accessible. But if you are one of those people that still holds those DVDs and CDs close to them, and if you want an easy entertainment system that will be simple enough to take with you, say, on a caravan holiday, or have right next to your bed, then I guess that this Yolton portable DVD player might be up your street. Even for the older generation, that's not quite got the grips on new technology. I do think that the Yolton YD-155 is solidly built, it's a nice sized unit, and in regards to the remote control, it does work quite fine from all angles. The headphone quality by the way, when it is plugged into the unit, the audio is really quite adequate, it certainly doesn't sound tinny, and for a portable DVD player that's easy to use and set up, we are going to rate it an 8 out of 10 within that category. Now, I will leave a little handy link for you guys to check out for yourself within the video description down below. If this is something you may use, well, go and take a look and go get yours ultimately. While you're in that video description, guys, please share some love by pressing the like button on this particular video just now, or in fact, share it wherever possible. Not only that, I would really, really appreciate the support just now if you quickly subscribe, please. Bearing in mind though to hit the bell notification option so you guys will stay updated on our brand new gadget and tech uploads. Now, if you want to see some of our unique gadget reviews, well, there's one showing on screen just now. You think about this one? Does it interest you? Well, no? Maybe not? What about this one then? Hey, it looks like an entertaining video, hopefully it's showing in your screen, depending on which gadget you're using, that is. But yeah, thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace!